Hey, what's going on? Rocky Madison here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to advertise on Bing ads in 2020 and beyond, all right? Um, the method I'm going to be showing you is just a real simple, easy method that anybody could use, whether you're advertising in online business or you're advertising your local business. I want to show you exactly how to set these Bing ads up just so you can, you know, get things rocking and rolling so you can actually start generating results, all right? All right, so um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want more videos just like this one right here, all right? All right, so if you've been following me here on my channel for quite some time, then you know I like to showcase you know, some results, and then I want to show you exactly how to set the ads up to start generating results, all right? All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go over here to my Facebook. Now, as you can see, um, I have a post here and it says, it's a great day when you wake up to one of your clients having a $1,400 day, okay? So what this is referring to is I, you know, I run ads on Bing and I have clients. And so what I do, you know, I obviously advertise for them. I advertise for their business and that helps them, you know, save more time. So they don't necessarily have to learn the process um, you know, the, the, the skill sets that I have with the platform, they can just use me um, as a way to get their self out there. All right. So um, in this particular case, one of my clients, you know, he reached out to me. He was like, man, um, you know, I had some payments come in and, you know, the amount that it was was fourteen hundred dollars in a single day. Now, granted, we're actually advertising. So obviously that's not exactly fourteen hundred dollars. That's more or less like eleven, twelve hundred dollars based on our advertising budget at that particular time. So at this particular time on December 22nd, so as you can see, December 22nd, 2019, even though we're in 2020 right now, I wanted to kind of backtrack and show you guys, um, you know, something that something I actually posted on my page. I don't always post the results on my page or showcase all of them on YouTube, but I felt this one was actually a good one to share. All right. So um, at that time, we were at about forty dollars per day. Um, that was across four campaigns, so that was about $160, so roughly about $160 subtracted from that $1,400 there, what is that, about eleven or $1,200, bucks, all right, profit in, in a single day, okay, so um, at right now, we're at about $200 per day, so the more, obviously, if we're getting results at the $160 per day, why not, you know, increase the budget to kind of continue to scale and scale um, as we can and then just kind of flow from there, all right? So that's what we've been doing. Uh, the results have continued to come in. I would say right now we're averaging about 40 to 50 leads every single day for his business. So things are rocking and rolling, all right? So I um, just want to show you, showcase um, a little bit results. Now we're going to actually get into how do you set these Bing ad campaigns up, all right? All right, so let's go over here to Bing. And first things first, you can see this week uh, we have spent just about $1,200 this week, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to campaigns. And then I'm going to go here to where it says create campaign. You see it says new. I'm going to go ahead and click create campaign. Now, there's a bunch of different objectives here. You can do visits to my business location, conversions. If you're, you know, you're trying to track certain things, maybe you want to put a pixel um, on one of your pages so you can track people. You can do some retargeting and all that great stuff. Um, also, phone calls to your business, right? If that's what you're looking for, that's the objective for that. Um, the dynamic search ads, you can do that. And each, um, by each objective, all you have to do is just kind of mouse and click on the uh, the question mark and it shows you the the, uh, the objective like what's the point of each objective you can kind of do that research on your own um, and then over here of course these are the research and the other tools so you can import from a file you can import from Google AdWords uh, you can also receive free coaching in creating a campaign right so tons of different things here but what we're gonna focus on is visits to my website okay now um, I'm just going to create like a little fake campaign here and then we'll kind of go from there from the beginning to the end. All right. So my campaign is going to be um, marketing expert. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll just use that for now. All right. All right. Now from here, um, I'm just going to put, I'll leave it at $20 per day for now. 
All right, and then from here, what I want to do is I want to go to locations, and I want to, I always do let me choose specific locations, right? Because maybe I don't want to advertise in Canada and United States or any of the countries or regions, okay? So let's say, for instance, that's where I'm trying to uh, advertise, United States alone, and I hit search, and then I hit target for United States. Now you can see that it's, it's chosen. Now the thing I want to do is I want to keep going down, and for here, I don't want people searching for or viewing pages about the United States. That means that they're not actually in the United States. I want people in my actual targeted location. So you want to uncheck that and leave people in your targeted locations. All right. Now, depending on where you're targeting at. Um, for me, I chose United States, so I'm going to keep the, the language on English because that's actually the language that I speak uh, myself. All right. So that's what I'm going to leave it on. And then I'm going to go to save and go to the next step. Now, this part right here, there's two ways you can do this. Now, you can just, you know, you can open up two Bing advertising. You, you can open up two of these pages. So that way you can actually go and use the, uh, the uh, what is that, the uh, keyword planner tool that, that Bing has. And then you can go do your research on your own. Or, right, let me show you, let me show you something real quick. Or you can actually go to um grab your website place your website in here where it says your website and then paste and then click out of it and then what it's going to do is it's going to crawl your website and based on the content that's on your website it's going to generate keywords for you that are related to your website so then you can as you can see the website i just put in there is based on marketing and artificial intelligence and a whole bunch of different things right um, so it's going to show me keywords that are related based on it crawling my website. So you can generate your keywords that way, or you can use the actual, um, uh, the actual, uh, keyword, uh, keyword planner tool, uh, that being actually allows you to have. All right. So those are the two ways that you can do it. Now, usually how you would do it, I'm just going to use random keywords right now. Um, just, just for sake of time. All right, so here we go. So I'm just going to I'm just going to take all these just for now. All right? So I'm going to add these to an unnamed NAD group and add. All right? Boom. Let's just name this marketing. All right? So boom, we got our keywords, right? This this is how all of our keywords are. Now, in previous in a previous video, you've seen me um if you watch my other um being ads training video, um you've seen me do where I do one keyword per ad group right i still use that exact same strategy but from times to time time to time i do put a bunch of keywords in one ad group right it just depends on how i feel all right um but you can do it this way or you can do one keyword per ad group right so i'll put that video down below in the description as well so you can watch that to um because that's actually going to save you a lot more money doing it that way depending upon you know what what you're really trying to get all right all right so boom we got our ad group and boom we got our keywords and now all i'm going to do is i'm going to get save and go to the next step all right so at this particular point what you want to do is you want to create your ad okay so this is very simple um only thing you're doing is the same concept here you're going to post your website there and then here you're going to actually create your ads all right so since i know that this is an autumn artificial intelligence marketing platform all in one right something i could do is okay all in one right all in one marketing all right platform to see if i can get that okay so all in one marketing platform and and the, the way that i think about this is if somebody's seeing this stuff, like most, most, like nine times out of 10, if somebody's on Bing, they're searching for something, right? So if you have benefits, the benefits, like what is it actually going to do for them in an ad, right? Most times people are going to click through those ads, right? So all in one marketing platform. Now, a lot of this is just coming off the cuff, right? It's nothing crazy. Um, all in one marketing platform, um, your marketing done right oh I'm, i know that's like very basic that's not something i would actually do but i'm just kind of giving you guys an idea 
um, on, on different things that you can do based on what, what it, whatever product or service that you're trying to put out there, whether you're a local business or your online business. Um, it just, I would, if it's me, um, it would be focused on the benefit. So when they see it, it's like, wow, like, oh yeah, I got to click this right now, right? That's, that's what you want to do. Now, you don't want to do clickbait where you're telling people it's something and then when they go there, it's not that because then um, you'll be affected by having a low quality score. And the quality score here on Bing is very important. If, if let's say for instance, you have um, a high click-through rate, but when people go to your site, their experience there is bad, right? Then you're going to start to be seen a lot less, right? Bing is going to show you less. So the whole trick to Bing is this. If you have a, if you have a high click-through rate, usually Bing shows your ad more okay now if you start to get a low quality, low quality score they're not going to show your ad as much right so the, the key is to have a high click-through rate and actually whatever you're promising make sure that's what that that's what they're being presented when they get onto your page right that's the that's that there's a couple different things that goes into it but mostly that's what it is okay so when it comes to being ads the if you have a low click-through rate uh, then you're gonna you're you're gonna pay more for advertising. But if you have a high click through rate, the the intent is to have you pay a lot less in advertising. Okay, so that's how you get you know um, that's how you actually get um, actually more potential to be seen, right? For a lot less. Okay. All right. So yeah, you pretty much. I'm just gonna put your marketing done here, um, and then I'll put AI powered. Okay. Now, I know this is not benefit. This is not like benefit based because maybe they don't care about that, right? But if they do, right, this would actually stand out to them, all right? So from here, um, what you can do is you can put like additional things. So if I put like AI power, AI power it's going to show up connected to the actual site. This is more for like tracking purposes. So AI powered. Um, system. I'm just going to put that there just for time sake of this video. And then in here, you would tell the benefits of the actual platform, right? This is where you tell this will build out your entire marketing campaign, your CRM. You can just tell them the benefits of it. All right. So I'm just going to put um, this will completely build out your entire uh, marketing campaigns your entire marketing campaign such as uh, website and etc I'm just gonna put etc just for now um, and go from there right just for sake of time all right so boom the ad itself is built at this particular time the only thing you have to do um, is if you have, let's say, for instance, you have you got your final URL here, but then you have the mobile URL there. Now, if your 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 site is already optimized, then you're good to go, right? You can just put the same website right there, and you're good. Now, there is like the add URL options, um, and that can be used like when you're trying to direct link uh, with Bing. And I also did a video on direct linking. I'll link that down below as well. Um, so you guys can check it out because I've done multiple videos, um, you know, talking about being ads, showing you guys different strategies and showing you how to save more money uh, with being ads. So I highly recommend after you watch that, watch this video, definitely go check those videos out. Um, they've definitely helped a lot of people. They've got tons and tons of value um, just from those videos alone. All right. Now, at this particular time, all you got to do is hit save. OK, now your ad is created. Now, what I do when I do this, I create three sep three different ads um, along across here. So I'll create this one. I'll create another one to split test and then I'll create another one uh, to split test. All right. And then go from there. All right. And then they have site link extensions. Those um, those can be used um, in, in different instances. Right. So um, sometimes on being you'll see like right under the ad. Like, let me, let me show you what I mean. So when, when you see an ad, sometimes you see things that are under here, right? Those will be called site link extensions, just to kind of give you an idea, all right? And then if we go continue down here, all right, you can see, save, and go to next step. All right, now from this particular point, you can see $20, okay? 
and then you can see whether you want to go enhance CPC or you want to go manual uh, now when I when I do this I do manual right because I usually do my research on my own I don't just depend on you know being crawling the site to try to find keywords I do my research on my own I look at the CPCs of certain things and then I use my own bid okay so we're gonna go manual um, you can use enhanced CPC I've gotten results with en enhanced uh, enhance CPC as well but 90% of the time when I do this I do manual 90% of the time all right now at this particular point um, you can see I'm estimated 1056 clicks uh, per month based on that bid um, you could change your bid you could put it at 25 cents It's really up to you you can see it's still green so 878 clicks per month with a 25 cent bid let's try 15 boom 523 clicks estimated monthly right so it's up to you where you want to go with it you can do it all you know um, you know as you continue to run ads um, you'll you'll start to find okay this is working for me um, this is gonna work best and so on and so on all right and at this particular point they have advanced campaign settings so you can see this is the ad schedule how long do you want your ad to run per day um, the location right you have the device so if I click on this right let's say for instance you already know that your competitors are advertising mostly on desktop so you might what you want to do is you may want to increase that by 50 percent or you may want to increase that by 100 percent right you'll start to see these as you start to look at your analytics um, here on uh, being ads like looking at who your competitors are and looking who you're competing with then you'll start to see because sometimes Bing will actually give you like um, they'll, they'll let you know hey your competitors are advertising more here so you should probably advertise more here and I've actually had that happen uh, with the campaign that I was running for the client that I showed in the beginning of the video um, being actually was saying hey uh, the competitors are advertising more on desktop so I decided okay well let me advertise a little bit more of my percentage on desktop so what I did is I increased this by 40 percent right because it give it gave me the the percentage as well because they were doing it about 30 percent so I was like oh I should probably go a little bit more so I can be seen a lot more All right so another thing I do is audience ads okay now when I do this I decrease this by 100 percent right because I don't want my ads showing up um, in all these different places I want people to actually go to Bing and type in to search for the things um, to, to see my ads when they're typing in on Bing I don't want it showing up on all these these other like no I don't, I don't want all that stuff so the point of me doing that is I decrease that by 100% so they only can go to Bing to find the stuff okay so that's something else that I do and then the ad distribution part um, you want to make sure this is on Bing, AOL, and Yahoo Search owned and operated only. Now, in some cases, some people use Bing, AOL, and Yahoo syndicated partners, and you can use that as well. But usually, ninety percent of the time, I always go with Bing, AOL, and Yahoo Search owned and operated only. Now, this particular time, I hit save, and boom, my ad is done. So, as you can see in review at this particular time, now it's just a waiting game of you know once being actually approves your ad so that is literally how you set up you know advertising here on Bing um, it's very simple um, if you if you you know if, if this was helpful in any way just you know drop me a comment down below letting me know um, you know you know if this helped you in any way also give me a thumbs up um, this definitely helps the video um, and with that being said hopefully you did get some value from it and definitely check those videos out down below in the description um, they're very valuable and like I said they're gonna save you a ton of money uh, advertising here on Bing all right so with that being said I look forward to seeing you in the next video peace